Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps, myself Sumit and in this video we will learn what is YAML, YAML pipeline architecture, how to write YAML pipeline and further we will set up multi-stage pipeline. If you are new to this, don't worry, we will start from basic. I will be following this article and you can find the link of this article under video description. Now let's understand what is YAML and what is the use of YAML pipeline. YAML is human readable data serialization language which helps to configure pipeline as a code. In YAML, indentation is very important. I will show that in later part of this video. Coming to YAML pipeline, in Azure DevOps, pipeline helps to set up continuous integration and continuous deployment. And to achieve this, we have two options. One is classic editor, second is YAML pipeline. So in this document, we will discuss YAML pipeline. Now let's discuss YAML pipeline structure. In this diagram, you can see there are three main component. First is the stage, second is jobs, and third is the steps. These three components are backbone of YAML pipeline. If you notice here, YAML pipeline is collection of stages stages are nothing but collection of jobs and jobs are collection of steps coming to hierarchy of yaml file in each yaml file first you will be defining the stages under the stages you will be defining the jobs under the jobs you will be defining the steps so if you see this code here first we have defined the stages under the stages, we have two stage. First is build and the second is stage is deploy. Under the stage build, we have defined the jobs and that job with the name build package. Under this job, we have defined the steps that is build package and publish. Similarly, for a stage deploy, we have defined another job with the name start deployment. And under this job, we have a step deploy package. So each and every YAML file will have this hierarchy where first you will be defining the stages, under that stage you will be defining jobs, under the jobs you will be defining the steps. Now let's discuss the component of YAML pipeline. The first is the stage. As we discussed earlier, a stage is collection of jobs which run sequentially. So if you see in this example, we are having a stage build. Under that we have a two job, the first is build on Windows and second is build on Mac. So why do we need multiple jobs? So let's understand that. Assume that you have assigned a task to build your application on two different operating system. First is on Windows and second is on Mac. So in that case you need two different agents to run, right? So first job you will be assigning to run on Windows and the second job you will be assigning to run on Mac. So further we will discuss that in our demo part as well. Okay. Coming to the jobs, job is collection of steps that runs on an agent or environment. So if you see here under the job build package, we have different step. The first is build, second is package and third is publish. So these steps will run under the job build package. Coming to the steps, the steps helps to define the set of process to set up your own activity or a task. So assume that you have assigned to set up your continuous integration and continuous deployment. You need to define a set of process, right? Maybe you will be first compiling your application, creating the package, and then you'll be deploying. For that, you need to define the steps. So there are three types of steps you can define. First is task, second is script, and third is template reference. And this is how it looks. So this is an example of steps. So under the step, you will be defining multiple task or a script or a template reference. Now let's discuss the schema of YAML pipeline. So this is the schema of any YAML pipeline file. So here if you notice, first we are defining the name. This keyword is optional. If you want to set up, you can set up. So name is to define your custom build number. Second is variable. So variable is to define your pipeline variable. 
that can use during your execution of pipeline. The third is trigger. Trigger is to set the uh, number of branches you want to enable for continuous integration. After that, you will be defining the stages. Under the stages, you will be defining jobs, and under the jobs, you will be defining steps that we have already discussed. Now, let's discuss the important node. In some case, if there is only one stage required for your pipeline, in that case, we can e omit or ignore the stage keyword and can directly start from the jobs. Similarly, for the job also, if you have only one job required for your pipeline, you can directly start from the steps. So let's see here. As we discussed earlier, in each pipeline, first you will be defining the stage. Under the stage, you will be having jobs. Under the jobs, you will having steps. In that case, how it is valid that you can omit the job. So let's understand this. So assume that you are assigned to work on a uh, task where you are just going to build your application. So in that case, you will have only one stage, right, to just build your application. So for that, you will have a job and then under the job, you will have a step to compile or build your application. So if it is, it has only one stage, in that case, you no need to define the stage keyword. You can directly st uh, start from the jobs. If you have a multiple stage, maybe build, deploy, test. In that case, you can add the uh, stage keyword. But if you have only one stage, no need to mention that. Or if you are going to mention that also, there will be no issue. You can mention that. Because in some cases, when, when you see the YAML pipeline, you might be getting confused that here we learned that first you will have a stage, second you will have jobs, and third you will have steps. But it is not available in the YAML file. So that's how it is. So if you have also only one job, you can directly start from the step. No need to define the job keyword. If you have multiple jobs, then you need to define the jobs keyword. If you have multiple stage, then you have to define the stage keyword also in your YAML pipeline file. If you have only one stage or only one job, you can directly start from the steps. So this we have also defined in our uh, demo session. So once you see the demo, you will understand that. Okay. Now coming to the demo. In our demo session, we are going to cover three scenarios. One is to set up YAML pipeline for single stage, single job. Second is single stage, multi-job YAML pipeline. And third is multi-stage YAML pipeline. So now let's discuss the first scenario. Single stage, single job YAML pipeline. Assume that if you have assigned to set up a build for an application, in that case, we no need to define the stage and jobs. We can directly start from the steps keyword. So although if you see in this example, this name keyword is for defining the custom build number. Trigger is to define the, uh, the branch name which you want to configure for continuous integration. Pool is to define the agent. So pool is nothing but collection of agent on which the uh, this step will run. The last is the steps. So steps where we are going to define, we need to build or compile your application. So if you notice here, we didn't add the stages and job because it has only one stage and only one job. We are just going to compile your application. So we no need to add or mention that keywords here. Although if you go, if you'll go and add it, there will be no issue. Now I have connected to Azure DevOps to set up our first scenario pipeline. So I will go to the demo project. So since we are going to only build the application, so I have up already uploaded the sample project that is a solution file under the YAML demo repository. So next I will go to the pipeline and I will create a new pipeline. So I will select the YAML because we are going to create a YAML pipeline and I'll select as a starter pipeline. So there are uh, some predefined uh, template. So I'll just remove that. And as per our basic uh, schema of YAML pipeline, we'll create and set up. So first is we need to define the name. So name is for build number format. So let's give the sample demo. And then under that, we can define the date with the revision. So date with and then next is the revision so 
so next we had to define the triggers so trigger is where we'll define the branch name so in this case we are going to define the main branch next is pool so pool is nothing but collection of agents on this agent only our build will run this pipeline will run so I have defined the custom build agent under the default pool next is we are just going to define the steps we are not going to define this uh, stages and jobs because we have only one step and for that no need to define the stages and jobs so I'll create the steps so I'll go to the source assistant and then I'll select the MS build and I'll get the argument from the our uh, article so I'll get the argument here now I'll save and run so it is started so I, here I need to provide the permission so I'll just view and then permit it so now you can see our pipeline has successfully ran so let's go to the pipeline run. and here if you see this is a sample demo the build number format which we have given and under the job you can see the VS build so it is basically got the project from the repos and then it compiled it so that's all with the, the first scenario now we will further discuss the second scenario Now let's discuss the second scenario, single stage multi job YAML pipeline. Let's assume that you have to perform some activity on a different agent, like building your application on three different operating system. For that, you need three different agent, right? So assume that you want to build your application for Windows, you need Windows agent. If you want to build your application on Linux, you need a Linux agent. In this scenario, we'll be creating multiple job and each job will be assigned with respective agent so if you see in this example we are not defining the stages because it has only one stage and multiple job so for multiple job we are defining the jobs as well as steps so for the job activity on Linux we have defined or assigned the pool default so it will run on the Linux machine similarly for the second job activity on Windows that is to run our activity on a Windows machine now we will set up the second scenario in the Azure DevOps. So if you want to learn the Azure DevOps and how to configure the self-hosted agent, you can find the link under the video description. So let's go to the demo and then I will go to the pipeline. So I'll create a new pipeline and similarly I will go to the Azure YAML. So I'll create a starter pipeline. So I'll delete this all. And in this case, we are going to create multiple job. So first I'll give the name. So this will be the, our custom build, build number format. So I, here I'll give the scenario, scenario two, and then we'll add the, uh, add the date. And then we'll add the revision format. Next, we need to add the trigger. So I'll add the main main branch. Okay. So next, since we are going to uh, add uh, jobs, we no need to define the pool here because the agent and pool we need to define under the jobs. So I'll first create the jobs jobs under the jobs we can create a multiple job so I'll first define the first job so I'll see this job as a activity on on Windows machine so in this job we are going to perform the activity on the Windows machine so next is we need to define the pool so pool is where we are defining the uh, our agent detail so in my case I'll just add pool name so 
let's go to this YAML and pool name yeah so what is wrong with that and default after that we need to define the steps so I'll just add a, a sample PowerShell script so I'll just add the PowerShell on this and then I'll add as a Now the first job is defined let's define the second job so again we need to come and you have to make sure you you follow the indentation it is very important in the yaml so again i'll create the job the second job and that i will give as activity on linux okay so next we need to define the pool so each job will be basically running on a specific agent in this case I will use the this pool default pool and then I'll add the again steps so now in this case I will just add the command line so here uh, again the step is added so if you notice this uh, YAML pipeline first we define the name trigger and under that we have defined the jobs and the job we have defined the task and that is the steps okay and this uh, indentation is very important under the jobs we need to define the different job and under the job we need to define the steps so I'll save it and then again I'll run it so now if you see here now there are two jobs one is activity on Windows and second is activity on Linux so I'll again approve so the first job is finished the second job also finished so that's how we set up the multi job YAML pipeline now let's discuss the third scenario multi stage YAML pipeline assume that you have assigned one application where first you need to build the application then you need to deploy the application so in that case basically you need two stages right the stage one is to build the application and the stage two is to deploy the application so if you see in this example we have first defined the stage keyword and the stage one we are building and for stage two we are deploying under the stage build we have a job to build the application so we are having a pool uh, called as a default so which will, it will have an agent under that we have a steps to build the application and then we have a steps to artifact I mean to publish the artifact under the stage deploy we are creating another job to deploy the web application so first we are downloading the artifact and then we are publishing to the Azure now let's set up the third scenario so I'll go to the demo and since we have already uh, uploaded the package so I'll just use this solution file for building the application and then the same solution file will deploy to the web so I'll create a new pipeline and then I'll select the YAML here also I'll use the starter pipeline so I'll delete this and then we'll start from name okay so name let's say scenario audio 3 and let's say as, as a dollar date next is revision so just add the revision coming to the triggers just add the main branch so since we are going to add two stage so we'll start from the stages here so stages and here we need to first define the stage build build application so we are first going to build the application so under the stage we need to define the job because the build has to run on a specific agent so I'll just define the jobs that will 
add a job to build the application so here under the job we need to also define which agent needs to used for building your application so i'll just add a pool and name as a default and then after that we can add the steps so add the steps so first step we'll add to build that application so i'll go to the source, source assistant and then i will just say the ms build so argument again i'll take it from here now the build step is added Now next is we need to add the second step so after the building the application we need to add the step to publish the artifact so again I'll just select that from the system publish build artifact so we are going to just select the same now build and publish artifact is added so that will be doing we are doing under the stage build application so next is we need to deploy it so to deploy the application first of all we need to define the stage where we'll first download the package and then we'll deploy on the web application so i'll just define the second stage called deploy the application under that again we need to define the jobs for the jobs we have let's add the job name as a deploy under the jobs we need to define the pool so sorry here we need to define the job and then the pool will be again the default one so name will be default so after that we need to define the step to download the artifact so next will be the steps and then I'll go to the assistant and then I'll just search for download download build artifact so we need a specific build uh, no i think specific file specific build okay so we'll use the current current build so after that next we need to deploy the application so we'll deploy on the web app service deploy so I'll deploy on the Azure so I'll select my service connection and app service name is demo test 0103 and let's add this as package location okay so now we have added the second task that is to deploy the application so if you see in this pipeline we have defined two stage stage first is build application under that we are building the application and creating the artifact the second stage we are deploying the application so for that first we need we are downloading the artifact and then after that we are deploying the application so we'll save it and then we'll run it So now currently here you can see there are two stages and there are two jobs the first stage is build the application which is currently running and the second stage is to deploy the application so now build is completed and next uh, deploy the application got triggered so here if you see the artifact got published so currently it is deploying the application on azure now you can see the deployment is also completed so let's see the logs 
so here the first is the build which is the application got built and then publish uh, the artifact got published and the second we have deployed the application so let's go to the azure and see try to we'll try to browse the application so i'll connect to azure so under the free trial since we deployed on the demo so i'll try to browse this app service So now you can see the web application got de deployed successfully and this is the message we have added in that application so welcome to yaml pipeline so that's all with this demo so now we have covered all three scenario so if you have any concern or query you can leave your comment here we will be happy to help you and if you like the video please subscribe it and share it thank you